Here's the definition of high performance training to achieve sustained competitive excellence while feeding high schools and colleges with ready, willing, and able students. Why a high performance training plan? Essentially, if you look to the left, that is the reason. Plan for long-term success. Now, in just about every other area of your life, you would be planning. When athletes get injured, there's a rehab plan. When you go to any type of school, whatever grade you're in, the teachers and the principals have an academic plan. The teachers also have a lesson plan inside their own classrooms. Many people that care about their money work with financial people and they create a financial plan. So why not a high performance training plan? And this is, I think, what separates the great programs from the also rents. Program design part one. Okay, what you see down there is essentially an annual plan in a circle. And it's parsed into three different areas. And I'm going to explain what those words mean right now. Macro cycle can mean two or two different terms. Essentially, it means an annual plan and it can mean a quad, an Olympic quad. Meso cycle can mean a training month and or it can mean anywhere from training two weeks to eight weeks, depending on what type of uh, periodization plan you're doing. Micro cycle is typically a training week. And again, that can go from two days to three days to five days to seven days, depending on what type of planning you're doing with your periodization plan. The program plan part two. Well, this is what we would do with it each individual athlete and or team. You have a preseason individual year plan. That's when you would sit down with the athlete and go over what is actually going to happen during the beginning of the season. The end season monthly individual coaching conversations just about once a month. Uh, coaches generally meet with their athletes and explain to them what's going on. Post-season post individual meetings. This happens at the end of the season so you kind of can recap and evaluate what the season did and how you can improve going forward on the next season. Physical periodization. Now this is what most high performance training plans sort of look like in a box sort of image here. There are other slides on here that are going to essentially describe periodization, but quickly, and this is an easy way to look at it, you can kind of see all of the different components here. Uh, if you look to the side again, that describes all of the training time periods, macro cycle generally a year, meso cycle generally a month, micro cycles generally a week. The goal of physical periodization is to enhance physiological adaptations. And if you go from left to right, starting in the middle, preparatory, competition, and transition, those are the three typical parts of a training periodization plan. Inside of those uh, segments are specific types of training. If you go from left to right again, general conditioning, sports-specific training, and then you can read along the slide and just kind of pay attention to the parts that are different. What I want you to focus on again is in the middle, there's a competition phase. That is generally where you will have all of the competitions. Now, if this is done on an annual basis from the beginning of the athlete's career to the end of the career, they likely will stay motivated, stimulated, and ready to train. However, if, they're, if that competition phase becomes, you know, the preparatory phase and the transition phase where the athletes aren't actually getting a break, this is what happens a lot of times when athletes burn out and or overtrain.